tsunami, a fast-evolving and unpredictable ocean-wide hazard created by powerful underwater earthquakes, can pose threat to all the surrounding coastal nations in a couple of hours. A single nation is so insignificant in front of giant tsunamis from the deep and energetic ocean. The best thing we can do is to work together to be prepared and survive in the deadly waves. Extending across nearly 4 million square kilometers and with coastlines heavily populated by hundreds of millions of residents. The South China Sea region and its adjacent basins are among the most vulnerable areas to tsunami hazard due to its unique position. The past centuries have witnessed several tsunami tragedies. In the South China Sea region, the latest 1976 Moro Gulf magnitude 8 earthquake claimed approximately 8,000 death toll in the Philippines. Most are victims of tsunami. According to worst scenario study in the Manila Trench, tsunami waves once generated by underwater earthquakes with magnitude of 8.5 are expected to arrive the near field region within 20 minutes in Philippines and spread to the South China Sea bordering nations within a couple of hours. To fully address the potential hazard in the South China Sea region, the UNESCO Intergovernmental Oceanographic Commission encouraged nine South China Sea bordering nations to collaborate closely for the establishment of the South China Sea Tsunami Warning and Mitigation System. As one of the most active sub-regional coordinating mechanism, the South China Sea member states took consolidated actions to strengthen regional capacity on tsunami hazard. These activities have been overseen by a series of regional coordinating meetings hosted by China, Malaysia, Indonesia, the Philippines and Vietnam during the past decade. As a vital part of the system, the South China Sea Tsunami Advisory Center, which is hosted by National Marine Environmental Forecasting Center of China, was approved to commence trial operations in January 2018. Now it is 8 o'clock a.m. at the South China Sea Tsunami Advisory Center located in Beijing. The center is equipped with a set of large monitoring screens and sophisticated decision supporting systems and works 24 hours a day, seven days a week to monitor seismic activities and tsunami waves. A pressing alarm is ringing, notifying an ongoing earthquake. With observational data continuously transmitted from global and regional networks, the watch standards are busy with evaluating tsunami potential. As the earthquake magnitude fell below the threshold of 6, the main watch stander decided not to issue the tsunami bulletins for member states in the vicinity. Thanks to the coordination of international organizations and institutions like UNESCO IOC, WMO and IRIS on real-time data service, now, the tsunami warning centers can provide bulletins in less than 10 minutes after the strong tremor. The ultimate goal of the South China Sea Tsunami Warning and Mitigation System is to promote the common welfare of the human being. No matter tsunami happens today or several decades later, we are capable of being well prepared and minimizing the damage by constant efforts and close collaboration. <laughs>